All right, everyone here and everyone watching online, thank you for watching and thank you for coming. Welcome. Uh, today you'll be hearing a couple of pieces from around the world. Uh, the first piece will be an arrangement that I did of Willie Nelson's song on the road again. And it is a, I should give some context. Graham and I are both composers, as is Keith, by the way. I had a Keith, the page turn. Um, and we wanted to bring something original to this concert, just because it, it's something that we, we felt would give us an opportunity to show our style and our passion for composing. So I was thinking about, about what to write, and I've just come to the Austin area. I came here from Maine you know, over the summer, so I came here in June, very new. And I know that Willie Nelson has a, a background here as to a lot of musicians, obviously. And so I felt it would be appropriate to do a song by Willie to just kind of pay homage to this area, this new area that I'm in. And as I was working on it, I realized that it gradually became more and more personal without me intending it to be personal, without me ever setting out to write something personal. Uh, on the road again, just without being deliberate, was the perfect song for this past year for, I mean, literally the entire world uh, has had this, this odd uh, historical experience of being permanently off the road and then gradually, you know, hesitantly getting on the road again. And um, I think that you can hear this unintended emotional content in the arrangement. It just gradually becomes more serious as we as we play. And so I hope that you enjoy it. Um, and uh, this is On the Road Again, composed by Willie Nelson and arranged by me, Ventilis. Enjoy. Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you all for coming again, both who are in person and online as well. Our next performance will be um, selections from Stravinsky's ballet, Petrushka, which is a piece that was originally written for orchestra and dancers. And uh, it's um, gratifying is too strong a word. <laughs> but it's a lot of fun to play it on one piano with four hands. The piano duet repertoire is kind of by design a little bit circus-like, um, which actually fits very well with the story of Petrushka. It takes place on um, the Russian version of Mardi Gras, and uh, you have a lot of activity going on. You have um, different circus groups and dancers and characters coming on to the stage and off of the stage, and you hear a lot of commotion in the music as a result. Um, the first selection that we're going to play uh, is when a magician comes out and gets everyone's attention and reveals three puppets who he brings to life and who dance. It's called the Russian Dance from Petrushka. section is um, from the fourth tableau, or the fourth scene of the ballet. Uh, we return to the scene of Mardi Gras after a little bit of an excursion to the different puppets' rooms for a side story, and we have the commotion of Mardi Gras again. Um, again, all kinds of characters coming in and out, and you can hear that in the various themes of the music coming in and out. Um, it begins to get evening, and some scarier creatures come out to try to scare the kids, and in the middle of that, Petrushka, the puppet, runs onto the stage being chased by another puppet, and he's murdered. And uh, the magician comes out and says, it's okay, everybody. 
He's not a real person, he's just a puppet. But then he appears in the background as a ghost, shaking his fist at everybody. And uh, we're left wondering what's really happening.
Welcome back. Uh, for our final piece today, we'll be playing Rhapsody in Blue by George Gershwin. And this is the four hands, one piano version of Rhapsody in Blue that was composed by George Gershwin. Um, if you are familiar with this piece, there's a wonderful uh, animation of it in Fantasia 2000. Have any of you seen that, that Disney movie? A little while back. There's a wonderful line drawn, sort of comic book style animation. In, uh, in that movie that is based off of this piece. So I would recommend that. Um, first off, before we begin to play, I just want to thank a couple of people. Thank you very much for collaborating with me on this. Uh, Graham is awesome, obviously. Thank you very much for page turning, Keith, Keith Allegretti. And thank you, Elliot, for hosting us today. Um, we would like to do this more often, this sort of thing more often, now that things are opening up again. And if you enjoyed this today, um, you know, please say so. Um, or if you have comments on how we can improve this experience for you, let us know, okay? So without any further ado, this is the beautiful, very jazzy, very fun piece, Rhapsody in Blue by George Gershwin.
have a good weekend.